Welcome everyone to Blackpool. Um, we're currently in lockdown um, and I just fancied a bit of a walk really so I thought I'd bring you along um, for my new YouTube channel. So uh, just going to sort of walk between Central Pier and North Pier and back and see if I see anything that's interesting. Um, hopefully I will see some interesting things. Um, I have actually already seen my first, I wouldn't say interesting, just weird or strange decision and uh, well let's show you that now um, so we've got here we've got roadworks um, we tend to do a lot of our roadworks in the winter months in Blackpool and what's happening here is we are there used to be a subway that ran underneath the promenade um, that would let people Across the promenade when it was really really busy um, they have closed the subway years ago i believe after speaking to some people that the, the subway actually precedes the bridge that used to go over at where the new sands hotel is i'll show you where that was as we go along and um, the first majorly interesting thing i think i've seen is the roadworks notice so we've got here roadwork notice one uh, where we say the roadworks are going to take nine weeks. But then if we just look to the left here, roadwork notice two, which says the roadworks are going to take eight weeks. I mean, I, I, I'll see if I can get them in the same shot for you. There, that, that, that's that's the difference between the two. So um, I'm going to cross the road over to Central Pier and we'll see you there. So now outside Central Pier, after crossing the road, and you get a good view here of the rest of the town. You can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, it's just spin you around. Uh, probably can't see that little red light in the distance, that is the Pepsi Max big one at the Pleasure Beach. And then if we come around this way, I think we all know what that is, but we'll get to that later. So for now, we're just gonna, uh, say a few bits about Central Pier which is my favourite pier to photograph not my favourite pier to walk down um, it's always very busy in the height of season a lot going on lots of uh, lots of noise uh, one of the best parts about when we started to come out of the first lockdown for me was being on the beach and hearing the music from Central Pier um, which hadn't been heard in months we sort of have our own little lockdown every year in Blackpool whereby we, the season just shuts down and yeah, it's normally deserted to be fair. They're normally not quite this deserted, but yeah, normally quite deserted. I'm just wondering, with them roadworks, where is the entrance to the subway? Because I'll be honest, I think it pre it, it backdates before my time. Um, so, well, that's quite a few years. I'll see if I can go and have a look. I definitely can't see this side's entrance but this has all been sort of tarmacked in the last 15 years sorry it's a bit dark um, I can't control the light uh, yeah so it has been tarmacked a while in fact, I'm gonna cross back over the road and just have a look and see if I can spot this see what we can get so I did see some things on on the internet of it was like grids and it sort of insinuated that that was where it went in but I just can't see where it is and they're meant to be filling it in making it safe so then we can have some more more traffic more traffic on the road heavier traffic on the road um, just generally make the road safer but I can't actually see where they are ah that'll be it that's that's quite smart of them actually I'll, I'll give you that one. So what they've done, where the grid is there, I parked a little forklift JCB on it, so that if people do want to try and get in, which, let's face it, there will be some, they're going to struggle massively to do that. So now we know. Now the traffic's getting a bit close to me because I'm pretty much on the road. So let's, uh, let's try and cross over. As we all. 
here at Central Pier tram station for all your Central Pier needs. There's actually, I think, three tram stations in what I would call the centre of town. Central Pier, Tower and North Pier. So if you come into Central Pier, just across the tram tracks, you've got Madame Tussauds over there. So you can uh, go and get your selfies with, I think the Hulk's in there at the moment. Um, and there's, it's quite good in there actually. We went in, not last year, but the year before, and it was quite good. Actually better than I expected for just little models of celebrities in wax. I did think it'd be a bit rubbish, but it was quite good. The kids enjoyed it as well. So we'll carry on. So I have turned the the, uh, the exposure up a tiny bit for this because you, it's a bit hard to see in the dark. So I was trying to put the tower in the background. But we've got these things which are. I don't think anyone really knows what they are. I did put something on my Facebook the other week asking what, what the people call them. Because I just call them the weird teardroppy thingies. Um, but there's the spoons. The, um, apparently they're, they're linked to a blade of some sort of blade of grass that's in St. Anne's. Really weird blade of grass. Uh, I don't know the official answer. So please feel free to comment that in the, the comment box. Um, because I do like seeing what people call them. But yeah, to me they're just the, the weird teardroppy thingies. Um, swing around and uh, if they're pointing sideways, don't fly your drone. That's that's the rule for me. So the beach is here, tides out at the moment. We've just got the one dog walker on the beach. the torch and then we come around this is the lifeboat house the RNLI who work tirelessly to make sure people don't drown um, problem with having the sea is you get a lot of people who get a bit carried away and maybe don't look after themselves in the water as much as they should and that happens all year round that doesn't stop as you can tell by the wetness here it's all a bit icy and wet which indicates because they have to wash down all the equipment after they're finished which takes them a good half hour they'll probably have a go at me now saying no we're quicker than that we've time ourselves and we'll probably challenge themselves but yeah they, they wash down all the equipment it's, and it's wet which means I would say they've been out in the last 24 hours. Um, it's icy, very icy, good fun to slide on. But yeah, it rained the other night, so if the rest of it's dry, it's from since the other night. Here we're at Coral Island, the famous Coral Island. Another arcade, it's huge in there. And it's always so loud. Can't hear yourself think. It's so loud with all the machines and going dip, 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 dip. So, so loud. So now we're just coming up to the second of the tram stops I'm expecting to see, which is the tower tram stop, which isn't directly in front of the tower because that would ruin the view. Um, but it. In fact, this is where the old bridge was that I spoke about earlier. The bridge that went over the road, but not many people used it because it would take you about five minutes to cross the bridge. Whereas you normally dart across the road. Obviously the bridge was safer, but it would take you a lot longer. Especially as most of the time you're on the beach and you're just popping in for a drink or some snacks or something. You just It was a lot because you had to go up one way, up another way, across, down one way, down another way. Yeah, it was a bit much. So I've now arrived almost at the comedy carpet, which is 
right in front of Blackpool Tower. We're on a slow fade tonight with the Blackpool Tower. It, stay, it, it seems like it's one colour, but if you've watched it for a while, it will change. And there's actually a really nice sort of, what's the word, ombre sort of colour to it. Um, I'll see if I can get that for you in a sec. I'll move a bit forward. I think it's just after this yellow, it starts to turn a reddish pink but starts from the bottom and looks really, really good. It's brilliant for them Instagram likes. There we go, it's starting to turn now. And it does eventually fade into pink. I always like to pick a little favourite bit of the comedy carpet because there's so much I can't say I've, I've read it all. Um, it'll probably take me years to do, but I, I, I'll try and sort of have a look at a section each night that'll come out. I've just got this. Look at the size of that sausage. And then right here, which was nice. Just so random. The plan was to give the drone a little fly from the just behind the comedy carpet. There's a lot of weird noises coming from down there. So I'm just leaving it for now. It's not like people or anything, it's sort of like weird like metal whistly noises, which is enough to creep you out a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave it for now as we head up and I'll I'll think about getting the drone out on the way back. Here's a little inception style moment. Um, this building here, Viva Vegas Diner Bar and Grill, um, with the Vegas uh, Viva Vegas Show Bar. They've got a, a webcam on there, so you, you can always, if you feel like going to Blackpool for a minute, just log in, just type into Google uh, Blackpool Skyline Cams, and you'll find it. I just can't see where it is on the building. It's always sort of bugged me this. It's a bit dark to be looking now, but I can't see it on the building. It can't be this far down. What I might do is log in now and see if I can find it. Bear with me. Okay, so here it is. Um, I can see, the, the, it's probably hard to see on that, but there's a little blob which represents that little tower over there. So if I, I'm going to stand next to that and see if I show up. I can't see it being absolutely instantaneous. Um, there's probably a bit of lag due to the internet. But we're going to see if we can see myself on there. Okay, so I think we're, there. we're here. I'll stand next to it. See if I show up. Can't see myself yet. It is that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there I am. can't really see it, it's out of focus. But yeah, I'm on there. I am on there. Onwards. Got a few seconds to guess the place. That's it, it's the Beach House. Um, very, very popular bar. Right on the beach. Sunset views. No wonder it's busy. Um, meant to do really nice food as well. Not actually tried the food, but I hear good things. 
and actually the beach house is um, connected to another building which when it first came out everyone was a bit like Ugh, what's that but it's sort of become iconic in Blackpool that's right it's the tourist information no it's not well it is the tourist information um, shop is it a shop? hut they used to be huts it's the tourist information centre yeah tourist information centre there we go it's up there so this is where you can get all your leaflets for things going on in Blackpool and also oh, I've completely walked past it one sec have to walk back a little bit this weird looking building behind me just here is Festival House which is basically Blackpool Registry Office and there's two rooms up there one for like 10 guests one for about 50 guests and fun fact it's where me and the wife got married um, so yeah that's, uh, that's where you go if you love someone so much you want to get the government involved tram stop bus stop with a stopped bus so this is North Pier tram station there are three tram stations on this walk today and um, we've got just here let me go closer another legendary Blackpool institution Robert's Oyster Rooms yeah, bit of traffic at the moment. Yep, Robert's Oyster Rooms. Um, not a big fish lover, so can't say I've ever been. So that's that. Cross back over, nice and quick. Not get run over by this car. There we go. Lots of regeneration going on in town at the moment. Although this particular one not sure if you can see it looks like it's been going on for about three years it's uh, I think an Ibis Hotel which it did have a bar underneath but that closed and then it looked like they were just redoing the fascia but they must have run into problems because that scaffolding has been there for ages and then directly opposite we've reached North Pier can't really see it because it's pretty dark and it doesn't light up very well but we'll go to the sign it's a light up sign showing up all the shows to come a new bar down at the bottom of this pier bloom gin and prosecco bar went for a walk down there and it looks really really nice not had a chance to go in yet because lockdown and that So here we are, North Pier. And that takes us to pretty much the end of our walk, so we'll have a quick look at what's around here. And then there's not a lot to show you of the same stuff on the way back. So I'm just gonna walk back, see if I can do a bit of drone flying for a bit of uh, extra footage for you. Uh, so we've got this is the coveted tram junction and we're about to be lucky enough to see a tram come through it and um, what they're doing is they are sending the trams up Talbot Road past the new Premier Inn building from the old Yates's building fire and they're going all the way up to what used to be Wilkinson's that's now been demolished that's going to be a new hotel which is going to be sort of like a tram depot so it's right next to the train station so that the idea being that when tourists come to Blackpool they come off the train with the suitcases they're straight on a tram most of the hotels are down the promenade or just off the promenade um, and there's plenty of tram stops so you'll get there nice and quickly and not have to walk for miles 
Um, not sure how the taxi drivers feel about that because that's probably a substantial bit of their living being played with. But that's that's the plan. Um, it's cost a lot of money, so residents are a little bit, I won't say we're miffed, but confused as to why that much money for what's essentially about 400 feet of track. Um, they did the junction about a few years back now, and it's just blocked off. So I think we're waiting for the new building to go in, and then they're going to start using it. So, um, I'm going to get some drone shots. Someone's just come out of the pier. I'm going to get some drone shots. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for walking with me. And I'll see you the next time. See you later.